Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Sleepy Penguin Entertainment. And because it's season 10 of EA Sports UFC 5, I think I'm gonna, you know, upload my pleasant matches for you guys. Obviously, these were last week, but I think they're interesting enough to upload. So, Gigich cards uh, we're using in the first fight against Leroy Murphy. Nice matchup, especially at Featherweight. You get a lot of Deporia versus McGregor, you get a lot of Holloway, you know, maybe Yaya Rodriguez. There's, there's, there's a lot of options to choose at Featherweight, so I was kind of happy to uh, get the chance to use Giga a little bit. He um, doesn't uh, suit up well against, you know, the power of, of the power, yeah, maybe the speed of Holloway and McGregor, and obviously, you know, Volk too is a bit of a mismatch. So it's nice to have someone you can kind of stand in front of and kickbox a little bit, and that was kind of at the forefront of my thinking when I chose him. I wanted to try to use him, but we do get rocked at there early, but that's okay. You know, you expect to be hit, especially by Murphy. He's got good, good striking. And, you know, it's probably something that's going to happen throughout the fight, so no big deal on that. We're trying to land combos up top now. What I did notice at the start, nice head kick up top by us. Um, what I did notice at the start was I was pretty boxing heavy, which is something I didn't want to be when I started this fight. Obviously, you know, Giga's best strengths come from his kicking, and it's something I wanted to try to utilize throughout the fight. So I'm going to try to get into a little bit more of a rhythm with it, I think, in the coming strikes, you know, try to land a few kicks at him. Um, not box so much, but I suppose, you know, sometimes when people are throwing you are very punch heavy against you're going to try to box back and obviously I'm I'm hunting for the head kick too you can see it there probably not my best option because if he ducks under you know Murphy may have the power to put our lights out in one and that's not something we um we want to be dealing with or messing with should be kicking to the body especially given given the the statistical advantage I'd probably have if I was doing that so a bit disappointed that I haven't implemented it at least not yet but you know, halfway through the round, we do get knocked on with the boxing, so maybe it's not the worst idea in the world. Nice little combo. Sits him down midway through round one. Really, so all good. Nice shot to the body by him looking for that head kick again. Very, very um, heavy. I think that's the third time I threw it. You know, a bit strange that we're hunting for that. So, so I would say so desperately almost at this stage, you know, throwing it that often. But maybe i seen something that says it's there, you know, in the regard of looking for it nice there that's what we should be doing we should be kicking to the body picking the right strikes but then again it'd been a while you know since i played ufc um had been kind of on the undisputed route a little bit trying to get good at that and we throw a really strange flying knee there maybe i thought he would move into a nice kick to the body again basic fundamental work like we should be doing stepping on a range of the uppercut so a little bit of a better flow here down the stretch of round one hey kick again misses although i'm maybe trying to bait it out from I think that might probably be my thinking is like if I can get him to try to head kick me we might be able to do damage and we do land it there albeit not in a good range for it at all but it lands and it's something for him to think about which is probably the most important aspect of it go for a teep to the body nothing doing on it either for us and I kick to the body by him and he digs that that hook to the body really really well he's done it a few times and it's landed very very nicely it's a very good shot very nice to watch so to be fair round one yeah I fought a little bit well got a rock but he also got a rock and he probably fought the better round to be honest stamina absolutely burned so obviously his hook that he'd been landing is doing a lot of damage and he's landing that um that front that front um lead body kick too which is doing damage there again which is what we want to do so kind of disappointing that our game plan is kind of being used against us but we do land a nice shot there sit him down we're going to look to finish here can we get it no we get reversed so very very poor first match of the season gets right back to the feet though not sure why i'm not sure why he decided to get back to the feet we're gonna try to stand in front of him a little bit here not doing much at all maybe something explosive and we do we sit him down bait him in with the lack of activity and move him right into that jumping knee so landed very very nice there good tactical move by us to get that one off and now we're into fight number two using valentina bullet shevchenko against ronda rousey you'd assume our opponent there is going to be very grapple heavy that would be you know my thinking right out the gate is that my opponent would be um going to try to grapple us with rousey nice head kick up top though and a uppercut sits our opponent right down in the first half minute of the round so very very good start to this one and see from a position like this you would imagine that we will be able to 
now take our time a little bit more she's got to come at us with ronda in terms of striking maybe try to get that knocked down back and that's never going to suit someone who is playing as you know a dominant grappler against a striker and that's not saying that we don't have grappling with valentina shevchenko because of course we do but obviously you know that realm is going to favor ronda rousey we might try to beat her there but later on but that uppercut again sits her down and now we do have a, a clear nice advantage after sitting her down to ice and again so that uppercut is money and she may be panicking a little bit of fort knockdown so to be fair this fight should be all but overall ready as we look to tee off landing a nice elbow goes for a get up and we're not going to allow that at all and what we're going to do is we're going to try to take ronda rousey's arm you know i feel like i have to fight one in the realm of stand up so we're just going to go try get some submission offense in. and it's nice i suppose you know second place from match of the season try to get a little bit of damage in and as you can see it there we do lock in the first arm bar nice offensive submission game from us there and we look to get in a second one but she is wise to it and gets out of there maybe back to her feet with ronda rosie some albeit you know a good good grappling exchange for us on the ground there but now she's back on her feet not that i'm fearing anything to be honest that uppercut has been money time and time and time again so i don't see why it wouldn't continue to be throws one of her own there with rosie um nothing at all really kind of to fair with it head kick up top poor range just wants to see shots there nothing nothing more than that to be honest leg kick again i think she started the wrong with a leg kick so maybe something she should look to implement a little bit more but it's not really run this game kicking is not run this game as my opponent goes for a takedown that's fine you've seen in the first exchanges we um we go grappling we uh we we beat her to the grappling punch really and we do reverse that submission that position there as she goes to mount and we're probably gonna get the finish here you would assume is it locked in is or is it one more maybe two given the fact no it is it's, it's gonna be more than two which is a bit crazy given the fact that we're valentina shevchenko but i suppose ronda rousey would have that defense although ronda rousey as you see right there is gonna get ambered and tap up tap out giving us our you know another victory so that is two in the bag um that one was very very straightforward being honest you know nothing major that our opponent did to us leg kick one or two maybe leg kicks were their their main route of trying to attack us and it didn't work we landed the uppercut time and time again set her down time and time again and got to finish um cody gab right now third match up then sean o'malley just got to be wary of the explosive stuff he's going to throw right out of the gate which seems to be yep there we go that's fine so he's going to be very very explosive sean o'malley throwing a lot of wild strikes running knees tags us there with it that's okay it's not going to keep working if we keep getting caught with the same shots it's our own problem although that knee was very very close to finding our chin badly like nasty nasty knee up the middle so maybe a bit unfortunate for the Sean O'Malley player that didn't land but there again looks to go into the animation for the running knee maybe the jumping knee so just got to be a bit you know careful there it is again that is fine should probably be trying to work the body off of the fail yeah see we are there now trying to work the body off the fail knees goes for it yet again and you know if you keep kind of spamming the same stuff it's not going to work nice nice jab into the head kick running knee again does land kick to the body stands a bit low I should be targeting better went for an oblique kick there nothing on it for us that is okay leg kicks now by O'Malley not sure what he's looking to achieve with them you know maybe it's something that should have been kind of thrown into the fight a little bit earlier running me again and again and again I think that may be the fifth one so it's very clearly something my opponent has maybe you know got in previous matches that has went well for him nice little head kick there running me behind it again um there is you know going to be one of these situations my block is okay to deal with the running knees for now but there is going to be a situation where i probably pull it and really badly knock my opponent out with a good head movement to get um he set off to center line there after being rocked pulls way backwards out of the range of the uppercut so good defense there if nothing else on the second strike probably going to be running again no hook that's okay 
the knee will come at some stage you'll probably be ready for it to be fair um, although it's not really worrying me you know if it was connecting and it was doing a good job see there it gets him caught we're too fast on the on the hook with Cody Garbrandt to be caught by it and we're walking him now towards the shot we want to land which is okay we're going to look to go stack guard and finish the fight right here because we have done a pretty significant amount of damage and yeah that is it so another one in the bag very very nice win to be fair opponent was very one dimensional in terms of throwing the running knee and stuff but you know three fights three wins can't complain Dustin Poirier against UFC 205 Prime probably Conor McGregor fought Eddie Alvarez it's my first time facing this character so I have to be careful like obviously we know that he has 100 uh, speed power and accuracy he's pretty much like a light heavyweight um Alex Pereira as you see don't we knock him down very very early doors which is going to be beneficial because ooh head kick back out of Sam neither of our head kick slam but we can't be eating that uppercut that's going to land us in all kinds of trouble if Conor McGregor is able to pull uppercut us so we don't want that with any version of Conor let alone a one that is this accurate and the straight and hit taunt gets him jabbed I am so annoyed that I didn't throw a front kick to the face or a cross there would have done way way more damage we're just going to stand in front of Connor a little bit, see what he wants to throw. But Connor goes to the body a bit over, you know, over commits a little bit, um, gets rocked. That will again benefit us. We are kind of winning now in that regard, I suppose. But it's kind of scary because I'm not sure where we should be looking to land our shots. And because I've been played in, you know, quite a while, it's um, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get back into a rhythm of. I wonder what yeah I mean it's just actually bait stuff so it's it's not actually taunting for the sake of being toxic it's taunting to try to um get your opponent to overcommit and we're going to try to avoid overcommitting um you know it's going to be something that we don't want to do although we do get caught with it there with an elbow which is very disappointing and you'll uh, see it kind of as the fight progresses it, it tends to snowball a little bit nice shot there by Connor there that's what i mean i don't get why we are look at this for craziness though you know we're gonna keep our block up after being rock we're not gonna get hit with anything major although connor now pushing us backwards needed to fire back a little bit there and didn't we're moving our head well for the majority of strikes as you see there again hands behind the back spinning heel kick gets him front kick up the middle set down now though building a little bit of momentum with dustin bit of ground and pound see if we can get him out of there he doesn't even reverse this uh, the situation and it's happened to us you know in the place of matches which i don't like should be way more uh, methodical with what we're throwing from the top um and we weren't very very poor by us being honest um connor again posturing up and this connor's got a huge huge knockout power so this isn't just any regular ground and pound this is kind of maybe one two shot finish ground and pound and we are very very lucky to get the fight back up to the feet there we don't want to be eating any of these big shots by connor as our opponent you know empties the full gas tank trying to get us out of there nice nice cross straight down the middle looking you know kind of that shot that he consistently hit Eddie Alvarez with I suppose kick to the body trying to get some of that stamina stamina momentum in our favor again but here he's got it pushed up against the fence landing shots to the guard should not have eaten any of those and let alone enough to knock us down so disappointing but it will see out the round which is I guess in that situation all we needed to do touch of the gloves so as, as i said you know it's no main disrespect it's just trying to get your opponent to commit on certain things we do knock him down there again that's fine nice start to the round in that regard and our opponent waiting for us to maybe take a top position we're just going to taunt back a little bit um just to show our opponent you know that we can play that game too get rocked though with the upper button he goes for a head kick we clap him on reversing it and as he ducks down into a big left uppercut that uh, finishes the fight so unfortunate for him he fought it well but i never really felt like i was in danger the only thing that kind of made me feel like i was in danger in that one was the fact that it was connor that he had the accuracy and the power if he was another character probably would have been okay would have been a bit more picky but my no way went so um aggressively for the finish and obviously now into our last placement match we're going to use 205 conor mcgregor ourselves uh had i used him on ranked 
till this point maybe once twice i don't think it'd have been i don't think i got managed to get many fights in with him so um, a bit uh a bit new to using him but then again i suppose it's like taking control of one of the better cars in the world you know it's going to be easy to drive um power accuracy you know good head movement footwork everything everything connor had maybe a small um, okay maybe a lot op head kick right off the bat not going to phase us at all as we do knock our charles Oliveira opponent down went a little bit crazy looking for an early early finish and again but we are managing to get ourselves out of danger when he looks to return the elbow just a little attack to the body do i do it again is it something i'm trying to make a I probably should look kick to the body but very nice takedown turned it really really well and this is where we do not want to be with charles Oliveira. so charles Oliveira postured up on mcgregor we do manage to slip the straight get the fight into a better position for us take this position and we're landing good good damage elbows 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 and see these are the shots you can't take from this version of connor because that fight is over that quickly didn't think our opponent was expecting it didn't think he you know think it would do that much damage but it did it's our fifth placement match we won all five i'm very happy with them hope you guys enjoyed this because it's been a while since i did ufc content so if you did please consider dropping the video like the channel sub and i'll catch you next time bye bye